Hey folks, Jonathan here. Back working on the coupe. We're going to try to get this thing where we can drive it today. Uh, we're going to try. So, I made a trip to Napa this morning. And instead of getting an inch and a quarter heater hose, we ended up getting a long inch and a quarter hose here. One of the reasons I wanted to do that, because the alignment's not perfect from here to here. As you can see but this has got enough of a bend in it that we can do it and it'll pull you and make you think that it's right so we're gonna do both sides with that and let me see I got a cap for the heater these don't last forever a lot of times they'll crack around the ends and come out but I needed something on there so we got that and I don't know if I showed yesterday I got the pulley in the bearing for the water pump I can't. I don't know what she's playing. Uh, got a bearing for the water or the uh, fan should be here today. And let me see. Okay, so I bought a bunch of these caps to cap off, you know, for the vacuum and stuff. And I bought a new key switch. Uh, but I just wanted to show you. All these are Napa packages. And made in China. Made in China. China. Key switch made in China. Now, the difference in this key switch and the key switch I, I've been using, this one's crimped all the way around. Uh, the other ones are crimped in four spots, which is why they keep coming apart. So I guess this is a little better quality. Uh, this is made in Taiwan, but you know it's a it's a shame because uh, you know Napa you would think would be one of the ones that would sort of try to stick with American products, but it looks like just about everything they're getting, they're getting from overseas, so I don't know. Something's got to change. We've got to start doing something about this stuff, even if it drives the prices up, so unfortunately. All right, okay, ended up cutting the shaft, and that way I could press it decent. We got it pressed off, so now, hopefully the other one will be here shortly, today. I gotta replace this key switch. Let me show you the other ones I was talking about. Okay. We got some water in here too. Oh, I know why. Gas cap's not on. There's no gas tank. Uh, okay. Here's the key switch I was talking about. You can see how it's crimped in four places here. Let me see. But that's the problem. So uh, it's just not quality. I'm not saying this one is quality, but it's got to be better than that one. At least it's crimped all the way around instead of just in four spots. So, all right, we're going to swap that out. Hopefully, take care of that darn problem. All right. Okay, folks, we've got this all back together. New shaft, new bearing. I actually made a clip to go down there and there. And I made that out of the, the spring that goes inside of a radiator hose. Because the, the clip was missing. So now it can't move. Everything's good to go, ready to go back together. All right. All right, folks, we've got the generator on, got the water pump on. Well, not the water pump, the uh, fan pulley and bearing. Everything lines up really well. That's been on good. Don't think there's going to be any issues. Uh, hadn't started it yet. We're fixing to do the key switch. You can see we got, about, like I said, about three quarters of an inch. Maybe a little more between the fan and radiator. I think it's fine. It's not nearly as close as some of them I've had. So we'll start it up here shortly. Bad thing about these aluminum radiators, you can about breathe on them and bend the, uh, the fins on them. So get it around there and weld them mounts before uh, I get in trouble from everyone. I still got to come up with a bottom hose. Uh, they didn't they didn't have a flex hose and I've still got a wire generator and stuff like that so I've got quite a bit more to do so it's probably gonna be tomorrow before we do a, a drive on it especially if I get called out again or anything so uh, that's what we're gonna work on and just so everybody knows that generator is a off a of 57 Chevrolet and Jake a friend of mine brought me that he's a, well, he's a subscriber and friend of mine he's local and uh, he, 
I think he probably took it off of one of his 57s and it worked out great because I was able to bolt that plate, the front plate right on it. So now we've got a fully adjustable 12 volt Delco gen generator just like was on it, except it's uh, like I said 12 volt instead of a uh, 6 volt. So I think we're I think we're good to go and then bearings on that fan of course they're sealed so you can't do any creasing on them which you know i don't like but you know it is what it is and uh they should last uh, as long as i need it to last anyway so now uh, i'm gonna get this key switch in all right okay got me a hose uh pre-bent got lucky and found one just had to shorten it up a little bit uh, i'm gonna put a spring in it somebody had asked about that you don't run springs in your returns but you run it in your suction because your water pump's sucking out of the bottom of the radiator and it can suck it shut you know if it's too soft and if your pump's working really well so we're going to put this spring here in it shorten it up a little bit but we're going to put this in it all right Car done fine. A uh, lot of torque. I'm surprised that the torque it does that. Uh, me and my son was going to race this one against the uh, 31 Roadster, but I don't think the Roadster's got much of a chance. Uh, not with the gears. You know, this is geared low, and uh, it might do it on top end, but definitely not low end. Oh, there's the temperature. As hot as it got. And that really didn't get that hot until I shut it off. About 155, something like that. Probably see it better if I put it straight. So, anyway, we got a lot more to do. Uh, the red light on the tank I've got set at I think 3,000, so it hasn't. You know, I haven't went up over that. I'm trying to 
sounds, I know it probably sounds like it's wide open because there's no exhaust on it. Yeah, it's been a long time since it's been on the road. I didn't even get my air cleaner on there. I'm kind of excited about driving it, so. Got our, you know, our belts on, everything's good there. Still didn't wire the generator. I had enough power in the in the battery, and actually, I unhooked the wiring from it. That's why I don't know. I don't. I think I had any tail lights or anything. I went ahead and took unhooked it. So all I had was the ignition system and the start. I didn't want the lights to run the battery dead while I was out there. So uh, anyway, everything looks good, working good. I don't see any leaks, no water leaks. Uh, I just seen a drip since I said that. Where am I seeing it from? Oh, okay, water pump. Probably need to put some more grease in it. We may end up having to repack it for it's over with. It may be fine. You never know. Uh, you know, it's hard to hard to say about one of these you know old style pumps. And uh, some of them just gonna drip, and that's all there is to it. So I'm not too worried about that. I know how to keep water in something. And uh, we'll get us an air cleaner figured out whether we use that one or not. I don't know. But I definitely got to get some exhaust on it. I want it quieting down. I want to run it down the side. Sounds like a pulp wood truck now. All the guys used to run around with pulp wood trucks. Uh, no exhaust on. They break the exhaust off in the woods and just keep right on going. So anyway, and I, yeah, I did weld the motor mounts. So anybody's wondering. So that's done. So far, so good. Everything seems to be working out really well. We just got to keep doing a lot of little stuff to it. And we'll get some of that red primer on it here eventually. So we're going to get it all wired up and get some stuff painted and changed on it. I may leave the headlights. I don't know. They look pretty decent with that grill. So we may just leave the headlights on it. They work. I got a welded bracket on one side. Uh, we could lower them down. But if I'd done that, that way I could use the Plymouth headlights on our Roadster pickup right here. And just so you know, I've already dri driven this thing down the road and back three or four times now. Kind of hard to get in third gear, but uh, it'll work. Transmission worked fine. Clutch worked fine. Everything on the, for the five-speed conversion, you know, that worked out just fine on the, for the Cadillac. Uh, no issues there. Tacked it up, popped it in second gear, spun the tires, took off. No problem. Uh, gear pretty low, so... Uh, you run out of RPMs really quick, so you sh you're shifting fast and taking off in higher gears, I guess. But, but it does really good. It's not it's not lacking for power in any any way, shape, or form. So, uh, but everything's working out good, and we'll keep at it. But I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, till next time, bye.